Hi, I'm Tim with FrakesProductions.com. On January 1st, 2018, U.S. President Donald Trump published a tweet about Pakistan. In it, the president said that the United States has foolishly given Pakistan more than $33 billion in aid over the last 15 years, and they have given us nothing but lies and deceit, thinking of our leaders as fools. They give safe haven to the terrorists we hunt in Afghanistan with little help. No more. Two days later, U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley confirmed that the United States will withhold $255 million in aid to Pakistan. The Pakistani government responded that recent comments from the U.S. leaders were completely incomprehensible and could damage the trust between the countries. In 2011, the U.S. Pakistani Interreligious Consortium, or UPIC, became a nonpartisan interreligious alliance consisting of religious, academic, and community leaders from over 50 Pakistani and American civil society organizations. And I'm proud to be a part of it. In 2013, 14, 16, and again in 2017, I had the privilege of traveling to Pakistan with the UPIC team. We met with a broad range of Pakistani civil, government, military, and religious society. We witnessed firsthand the passionate desire on the part of Pakistanis to reach out to the global community with a message of goodwill and cooperation. We also interviewed Pakistanis who risked their lives confronting extremism and destabilization brought on by instability in neighboring Afghanistan. In response to the recent escalation of rhetoric and the potential for a destructive erosion of future U.S.-Pakistani relations, I encourage members of the UPIC team, Christians, Jews, and Muslims, and all people of goodwill to call on U.S. and Pakistani leadership to reflect on the faithful foundations of their respective societies and renew efforts to find sustainable paths toward a just, constructive, and peaceful relationship between both societies. In honor of the late Dr. Mumtaz Ahmad, whose guiding spirit helped to launch and sustain UPIC through its six years, we cannot remain silent.